In this video, we will look at how we can add and subtract rational expressions that have different denominators. Very similar to adding and subtracting fractions with numbers, we must build up the denominator by multiplying by the missing factors. Because we're multiplying by missing factors, it means we may have to factor in order to find the LCD. Let's take a look at some examples where we have to do just that. In this problem, we notice we have different denominators. To find the LCD, we must first factor each denominator. The first denominator, with two terms, we notice is a difference of squares. It will factor to the sum and difference of the square roots x plus 3, x minus 3. The second denominator, we must use the AC method, multiplying to negative 6 and adding to 1. This is done with 2 and 3 if the 2 is negative. Because of the 1 in front of x squared, it factors to x minus 2 times x plus 3. Our LCD, we recall, is found by taking all the factors that appear in x plus 3, in x minus 3, in x minus 2, and you notice the x plus 3 is already part of the LCD, so there will be no need to list it twice. Now, in order to get a common denominator, we will build up each denominator by multiplying by the missing factors. This first denominator is missing the factor x minus 2. So we will multiply numerator and denominator by x minus 2. When we distribute in the numerator, 2x times x is 2x squared, minus 2x times 2, which is 4x. Over the common denominator, x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 3. Plus, in the second fraction, you may notice it's missing the factor x minus 3. So we will factor numerator and denominator by x minus 3. I'm sorry, multiply by x minus 3. Distributing the 5 through will give us 5x minus 15. Over the common denominator, x minus 2, times x plus 3, times x minus 3. Now that we have a common denominator, we can simply combine like terms. In the numerator, we have 2x squared, minus 4x plus 5x is plus x, minus 15, over the common denominator, x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 3. However, before we say this is our final solution, we will want to factor to see if it can reduce. Using the AC method, in the numerator, we're multiplying to negative 30 and adding to 1. This is done with 6 and negative 5. Because of the 2 in front of the x squared, we will be careful as we build our factors. To get 2x squared, it must be 2x times x. 2x must be multiplied by something to get the 6. This must be positive 3, which means in the center, x is multiplied by the negative 5. Fortunately, our common denominator has already been factored for us. 2x minus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 3. Notice that our factored expression does have some factors that can reduce. The x plus 3's on top and bottom divide out, and we're left with 2x minus 5 over x minus 2 times x minus 3. To add with these rational expressions, we find the least common denominator by factoring and multiply by any missing factors. In part 2 of this video, we will look at a subtraction problem that we can do the exact same process to solve.